What's going on guys, Sand7 here, and well I got a couple things for you today. I've got the boss fight because I'm finally getting back into it. Druids hit a level 120, I can start doing that stun train now, and I'm in the need for honor badges big time. But before I get to that, I want to go over the world chat because God knows we all hate world chat. And you know, if you're not in a guild that's very active in chat and whatnot, you know, it sucks not having a bunch of people to talk to. So, well, Eel and myself, you know, we collab together to create a new world chat. And we chose, you know, an app a chat app that was capable of holding, you know, more than 99 people. Line is a great app. Prefer it over Kekeo, which I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it or not, but that's one we're using because you can have an unlimited number of people. It's completely free. Head into the Google Store. Just search it. There it is right there. Once you get it downloaded, once you get your profile set up, all you have to do is just head over here to that little search icon, tap ID search, type in my name. It's just going to be San7, and, you know, you can find me. You can find Eel. I'll also type in his name in just a second. Obviously can't search myself, so we're going to go ahead and just exit out of that, back out of that. And we're going to type in Eel's full name because he is the man of many letters. And once you can get that, it's actually easy to remember. It's two E's, two L's, four J's, four H's. Just remember that. There you go. Type that in. He'll be able to add you. And once he's added you, then you'll just be able to go ahead and get into the, the actual chat world. It's, or chat world, but the uh, world chat that we have set up. So, you know, it's people from all different guilds, from all different levels of CC. And it's just kind of an alternative to the end game chat because IGG is not taking care of it. Their only interest is in pretty much dumping out new heroes so we spend more gems, right? Well, we've got one ahead and set this up for you guys and for everybody else. I know I'll be on there because I hate that I can't keep up with all the in-game messages because I get them all the time. And I don't like ignoring people. And I know some people get pretty angry about it, but um, you know, a lot of times I'm just logging in. I need to do a few dungeon turns. I'm in the middle of this or that, and I don't have time to talk. And I'm logging in and just play. But when I do have time to talk, I'm in a chat app. And it's usually line for guild stuff. And you know, now we got a good world chat other than the other world chat we had created in line that pretty much got taken over by pervs, and I'm too awesome. <coughs> um, <laughs> All right, I forgot to throw that one out there. But all right, let's get into the ball stuff. And this happened a few days ago. This is before Druid was seven stars. And what I noticed is the fact that I'm close. I'm getting close to be able to, you know, just training that stun all day long and be able to get in for that full three minutes. And I'm very close. I'm not there yet. But as you can see that... You know, I'm able to get to that first stun, that second stun, and my paladin's way down there in health. Now, it would be really nice to take that paladin up, but I need honor badges. The boss is something I've really ignored like uh, since the start of the boss. I never really enjoyed it, but I really need honor badges now. That's what you get when you take 50 heroes to 3 stars. So, anyways... I'm really going to get into the boss battle in the next few days, and of course my battery's dying as always, but after this one I noticed, um, wow, I can get 1.35 million, that's, you know, that's pretty good. Um, and from there I started thinking, okay, well what do I need to upgrade first? You know, first obviously Druid's going to be upgraded, and once I can get that extra heal from him, him bumping up to 7 stars, you know, I really think I can go through and stun it for stun him for a heck of a lot longer, and it ended up working out pretty well. Now the next thing I need to upgrade is my Paladin, and... It's going to be those honor badges that I really don't want to do because I'm so close with Pumpkin Duke and Thunder God, which Thunder God's got to be first. You always want to take him up next. But then again, for me, I'm thinking, why? I'm able to do D D8 S11 pretty easily. That was my first goal is I had to go through and figure out how to get that 37 shard drop done every time with only using GA and Restoration because my shard output has gone through the roof after that. Now I'm thinking, all right, well, honor badges. I need to roll talents, really. Um, if I'm going to do any better in the arena, and barring rolling talents, which I don't want to do. I don't want to spend all the gems for that. You know, I'm thinking, well, I need to go out, and I need to hit these boss battles pretty hard. And, you know, I'll tell you right now, in Shinra, it is not easy. You can see right there, 10th, and that's good for me in a boss battle. I, you know, I really have not been doing it much. When I do make it, I'm happy to get on the leaderboard. And today, when I did it, I jumped higher than 10th. I got, um... I think it was fifth, and I was pretty happy with that. And I think I'm pretty close to moving up a couple more spots if I can just keep at it. Now, all shards are going to be donated until I get that elite title, but hey, shouldn't be too long, hopefully. And, well, this is uh, from earlier today, and what you're going to see here is I'm going to lose my paladin first a couple times before I get a really, really good chain going where, you know, I do like four point million, four something million damage in one turn. And this might even be the turn right here. Now, nah, there goes a the paladin right there. And you can see the first one to go is all, always my paladin. And it happens when, you know, he gets procced on um, in between one of the stuns and it just does that extra damage and it's just enough to kill him. Now, if I even got my divine shield up to four of nine, it's only three of nine right now. And that's killing me, but those shards got to go there first. 
<laughs> Ron, geez, think he's got a chance with Elite. No, 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 no. But um, you can see right here that I believe this might be the run. You'll see it as soon as I get past like the 15 or I'm sorry, 30 second mark. I believe I just keep going and keep the chain going. Now, I might try subbing out Succubus for Thunder God, but the timing on the stuns kind of bothers me because what I'm using is a Berserk Champ. He's a four or five Berserk Champ, and that's what gives that stun there. It, it keeps that timing in. Now, if I throw in a Thunder God, yeah, he's going to throw in a stun of a second and a half, and yeah, I can get that timing in initially, but eventually they're going to sync together and they're going to stun at the exact same time causing it to be completely worthless right now i've got succubus hitting for 35k every time she procs plus reducing that attack and that's i'm kind of leaning towards us but i'm definitely going to try thunder god to see if i can get it to work because really my goal is to go the full three minutes and max the damage out of course i would love to be able to get rid of the paladin and tank with druid but my druid's just not there yet and he's a revitalized druid not a um Berserk, which would be nice because the more heals you can get out there. Also, I'm going to need to upgrade that Pumpkin Duke skill, but hey, those donations come first, for me at least. And you can see right there that the stun just keeps going, or the chain, you know, with the stun. It's really nice to be able to do this, and i got to say, since, I was, since I've been able to do this, boss fights are a lot more fun because I'm just sitting there like, wow, this is cool. I don't have to sit there and just enter in for a couple seconds and then dot, jump out real quick before everybody dies. You know, now I'm just like, okay, let it go, let it go there. I'm Going a minute and a half. Yep, yep, yep. And then he goes, I'm like, all right, well, I just need to dip right here. Go ahead and dip out. 4.3 million. You know, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And, of course, you know, I'm not up there with some of the other guildies up there. Like, M is just always crushing the boss. GMS, of course. Dude's a monster at the boss. And, you know, I need to get up there. I need to start getting up there because I need honor badges bad. And the arena has become ultra competitive, which is a good thing. No doubt about it. But... Until I roll some more talents to get some more revitalized on my guys, you know, I, I don't see that as a great source of income for honor badges. Now, talking about honor badges, you know, I would really love IGG to do something about it because, um, well, I guess I finally ran out of them now. But, uh, no, I mean, really, with, with the addition of Here Be Monsters, it's become way too easy to level heroes and keep up with the honor badges, you know, needing them. Before then, you know, I, I never ran into any problems because I wasn't leveling that fast. Now, you know, I'm leveling really fast. I'm at the point where now where, you know, you'll see my setup without garrisons most of the time because I don't want to just waste honor badges doing another level where I'm going to be wasting experience. I'll take the guaranteed shards and I'll give my experience to the guys that actually need it and are actually going to get it. So, you know, that's kind of where I'm at right now in this, and I'm going to be concentrating on those boss battles. And the next one, um, I'm probably going to do, definitely do some more boss battles coming up this week, and I'll probably add another one in tomorrow, tomorrow to see how I do, swapping Thunder God in for Succubus, and definitely the Elite, uh, or the Legendary. I didn't get a chance to challenge him. Shen went ahead and took care of him, beat him. I believe it was like 17 minutes. I'm not sure about the time, but I wasn't able to make that one. I will definitely be at the next one, so... Um, that's something to be looking forward to because I'm looking forward to I don't know how well I'll do because I've got to get my champ to go ahead and proc. I've got If he doesn't proc, they all just die. And I've heard that legendary boss, he just wipes your whole team out with the proc. So that's something that I'm kind of worried about. I'm. It might be another hit and run situation. I was like, eh, this sucks. Um, kind of like I was when I first started the boss. But now that, you know, you can get that train going a little more and, you know, you can, well, here I'm just killing everyone but that's okay it's almost over anyways and you know i pick up a few shards or a few honor badges here finishing fifth which isn't bad but i want to try to get up there on that leaderboard and i'm just a couple upgrades from doing that so that's really going to be my goal I, you know the boss is the one thing that i have not spent time in this game doing and well that's the next hurdle to cross because really the last few weeks have been all about getting to dungeon 8 at skull 11 doing that with ga restoration only so i can just farm shards all day long and I'm able to donate up to that elite title, then go ahead and upgrade a bunch of skills. You know, from there, it's all downhill. Well, there's the boss right there. That was this morning's challenge, and I finished fifth, you know, a little under 7 million, and, you know, I don't know the exact time on it, but it was pretty quick, so I'm really happy with that damage output. It's probably my best boss run ever, so, um, you know, that's something that I like there, but we'll have to see to the next one, see if I can do any better. All right, guys, saying 7 out.